in this CAD tutorial we will be learning how to make the screw the tapered shape head the helical screw and the profile of the screw so let's begin so first select file here click on new select part and then click ok now right click at this top plane click on sketch select a circle then select this origin and make a circle here now select smart dimensioning tool in order to specify the diameter of this circle specify the diameter of this circle as 3 millimeter make sure that you have selected mmgs as units now go to features select extruded boss base command here and specify the length of extrusion as 19 millimeter then check this box change the background to plain white and now let's specify some appearance okay so now select this face and click on sketch select a circle and make a circle at this origin make sure that it overlaps the previous one now go to features select extruded boss base here and now extrude it up to 7 millimeter here select this draft command and specify the degree as 12 and here you can see the profile this is basically for the edge of the screw and uh, now check this box and now it's time to make the profile for the head so for that select this face click on sketch and make a circle make sure that it overlaps the previous one and now go to features select extruded boss again and now let's extrude it up to 3mm only select this draft command and here specify 30 degree let me show you the profile so this is inward we have to select this draft outward and here you can see the head of the bolt has been created check this box and here you can see the basic profile of the screw has been created now select this fillet command select this edge and specify here 68 and this fillet command will make this edge of the screw even more sharper check this box and here you can see the profile okay so now select this uh, head and click on sketch option now select this center line and we have to make center lines like this a horizontal center line and now we have to make uh, a vertical center line so select center line again and make a vertical center line like this from here to this point okay and now select the corner rectangle from here to this point make a corner rectangle and make a corner rectangle in horizontal fashion from this point to this point and now it's time to specify some dimensions so specify here one millimeter and now select this vertical line and specify the length of this line as 4.5 and we are done with the dimensioning now it's time to define some relations so press the control button on your keyboard select this line select this line and make relation as equal if this bar does not appear then you can select it from here equal relation similarly select this line press the control button select this line and make relation as equal and now it's time to make the symmetric relation so select this line select this vertical line this vertical line we have to specify three lines and make relation as symmetric so symmetric relation also appear here okay and select this line this line and this horizontal line make sure that you have pressed the control button okay and select this symmetric relation 
and now we are left with two more symmetric relations select this line this line and this center line do not forget to press the control button and make relation as symmetric and then select this line this line and this vertical line and make relation as symmetric again so this was the last relation okay and now we have to trim entities for that select this trim make sure that you have selected trim to closest click on yes and one by one trim this internal sketch and here you can see the sketch is turning into a shaded one so this internal sketch it has been turned into a shaded one which means that it is ready for extrusion so go to features select this extruded cut here specify the depth of extrusion as 2 millimeter specify here 2 and enable this draft command and specify here 10 degree and then check this box so the head is ready this is made for the screwdriver insertion change the pins okay and now select here plane in the reference geometry drop down this bar okay and here you need to select this plane okay we are basically making a plane here and let me show you how to locate this plane so you can increase this parameter and decrease these parameters in order to locate the plane and here let's specify six millimeter and let's change it to two millimeter so at a distance of two millimeter from the head we are making a plane here okay check this box and now exit the sketch select this plane click on sketch and select this circle and click on convert entities so let me show you what happened here exit the sketch so at the place where we have created a plane this circle has been created so we will start making our thread from this location so drop down this curves menu and select helix and spiral here select this circle and automatically this helix will be appeared so initially this circular pitch will be appeared in your case as we know that the diameter of the screw is not constant so we will select this variable pitch so select this variable pitch and here in the p uh, column we have to specify two millimeter so specify two millimeter and in revolution specify six and here you can see six revolutions of the thread has been created and now again specify two specify seven revolution window a new revolution of the thread has been created but here you can see the thread is out of the body so define here as 2.6 millimeter and now you can see it is inside of the body so that's how we will be decreasing uh, the diameter size and increasing the revolution keeping the pitch constant again decrease the diameter here previously we have defined as 2.6 and this time let's define as 2.4 and here you can see now it is inside of the body so similarly we have uh, to manually uh, make these revolutions and diameters by ourselves so after defining these check this box and select this right plane click on sketch now select this line select this point and make a line at make sure it is 90 degree so make a triangular shape like this and now let's uh, define the length of the sides select these two points and define the distance between the, these two points as 0 0.6 millimeter and similarly select the other points this point this point 
let's define as 0 0.75 and this line as 0 0.75 millimeter as well let's define as 0 0.75 now let's exit the sketch and select this swept boss base this swept boss base and in this window select this sketch and in this window select this helix that we have manually created and here you can see the helical thread has been appeared check this box and now let's hide the plane and the helical thread so that's all for this video thanks for watching